Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next video, and this is just a short discussion of seeking air mines and how to use them after the update for Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, and Town Hall 11, because now that seeking air mines can target healers, that does change a few things for the top level war scene. Uh, so we're going to talk about each Town Hall level, how to use it, just go through uh, through each one, and uh, we'll start at Town Hall 9, how to use the Seeking Air Mine in your anti-3 star war bases. And I think at Town Hall 9, air attacks have proven they're a viable option and they're a very popular option these days. So your number one priority for when you're placing your Seeking Air Mines should be to take out those Lava Hounds, to keep them by your air defenses, so a Lava Hound will most likely... Uh, soak it up as it approaches the air defense. Now you can move it a few tiles out because on a queen charge, for example, uh, if the queen takes out the air defense and moves forward, if the seeking air mine is maybe a few tiles in front of the air defense, uh, that healer will go down quicker because it won't have to move as far into the base before it triggers the seeking air mine. So you can slide it a few tiles towards the outside of the base, but keep it close enough to the air defense that the lava hound will almost definitely still trigger it. You don't want the lava hound to go at a different angle and bypass your seeking air mine because air attacks are very popular, like I said, and uh, that can really cripple your base. So your main priority should be to take out those lava hounds. Um, I know some of you guys uh, hate when, when your base gets just a regular queen walk uh, that stays outside the base, not a queen charge that enters the base, but just a regular queen walk that takes out maybe a quarter of the outside of your base. A lot of you guys get frustrated when that happens, and you might kind of be thinking, all right, I'm going to put some seeking air mines on the outside of the base to take out healers. I would not recommend doing that, and I say that because queen walks, I don't think, uh, are going to make or break the attack. If you have a good base that has the expos that can cover the queen walk, it can you know reach the queen, but the queen can't reach it. If you just have a good uh, solid base set up uh, with just the general things, the air defenses, uh, close to the outside of the base but not reachable either, like the expos, those kinds of things, a queen walk is already going to be fairly difficult to do. And even if they do a somewhat successful queen walk, it's not going to make or break the attack. The queen charge is typically what can be pretty devastating for a base. So as long as you have your um, your seeking air mines somewhat, uh, you know, on the air defenses but slid a little farther out, that's going to defend against most queen charges. So really, all they, they can do is a queen walk, and I don't think that'll make or break your attack. So because of that, I think keep your seeking air mines close to those air defenses. Now, if you can predict what two air defenses they might try to take out with the kill squad, if you can look at your base and say, hey, my queen is near these two or these three air defenses, uh, put your seeking air mines by the other one or two air defenses that are not by the queen that will most likely have to deal with the air part of the attack. That's just a smart move to do because there's no point having those seeking air mines in a place that a ground uh, part of the attack will go through. So keep that in mind. That's another way you can improve your uh, base. But that being said, one more thing I want to say about Town Hall 9 before we move on is I talked about in the past when you have a troll tesla in the corner sometimes you can put a seeking air mine by that troll tesla so the second attacker who knows that you're seeking who knows that your tesla is there will try to drop a balloon usually just to do a quick trade on that tesla and then the seeking air mine will pop up and they'll waste the balloon but I would not do that at this point because with air attacks being as popular as they are, there's no point thinking all the way ahead to your second defense. You just want to try to get one defense, really. And uh, if they do an air attack, that's one less seeking air mine you have inside your base, really. So I would recommend... Uh, keep all four of those seeking air mines somewhere in your actual base. Don't put them out by the troll Tesla. Although, if you think your base is just so good, it'll definitely get to that second attack. Maybe you can take that risk. It just depends on your base to a certain extent. So that's Town Hall 9. I think I covered most of the stuff there. Um, Town Hall 10 is kind of similar but a little different in that because air attacks aren't quite as viable you can get a little more creative with your seeking air mines as far as where you put them uh in putting them towards the outside of your base now we still if you if you guys remember i did an attack strategy video a few videos back where i talked about uh bowler la Lune, that bull bow la Lune or whatever it's called the combo attack um, that goes in and takes out a few air defenses, then uses a small Laloon on the rest of your base. 
That is something that's been popular at Town Hall 10 and I think is gaining popularity. So look at your base and see which two air defenses or which three air defenses, same as at Town Hall 9, are close to your queen will most likely be taken out with a kill squad if they go with that strategy. And put, you know, two, even three seeking air mines on the other side of the base uh, by that other air defense that will most likely have the air part of the attack going in with it. Put that, those Seeking Air Mines there, and uh, you can probably take out a Lava Hound really quickly. As far as the rest of your Seeking Air Mines, I'd, th I'd say put them towards the outside of your base. We still see people doing Queen Walks at Town Hall uh, 10, and I, that happened to me, and I luckily had a Seeking Air Mine on the outside of my base in the last arranged war, so I took out one of their healers. But also Baby Dragons, in places they'll use a Baby Dragon, most likely to funnel where you have a bunch of trash buildings and maybe only cannons. If you have a place on your base like that, uh, put a Seeking Air Mine there, that can really mess up a funnel if you take out that Baby Dragon. So things like that, because they're not that important, besides on specific air defenses, Put the Seeking Air Mines towards the outside of the base, maybe the two or three that you're not using on your specific air defenses that are most vulnerable to an air attack. So that's Town Hall 10. Real quick, I'm going to talk about Town Hall 11. Basically, it's the farthest to the other end of the spectrum. We're not seeing air attacks really on any scale, especially because the, of the... Uh, the healer nerf people maybe at one point could do a queen charge but that people aren't going to have any level of confidence to do a queen charge now to take out air defenses and use a lot of loot on the rest of your base so mainly we're seeing bowler minor stuff and because of that as a town hall 11 your best bet is to defend against the two star put like almost all your seeking air mines on the outside of your base by your trash buildings take out those baby dragons because the baby dragon valk combo is so popular for town hall 10s trying to two star your base so if you can take out three possibly four baby dragons just with your seeking air mines that's not going to go for a two star 90 percent of the time uh, so that's a great way to defend and also having those out there for a possible queen walk if it happens because at town hall 11 we're really not seeing air attacks at all really um, maybe you guys have seen some i haven't especially on a good solid town hall 11 war base so those are just my thoughts uh, for Town Hall 9, 10, and 11. Uh, let me know if I missed anything below or what your guys' opinion is. But I think that will serve you best in your war bases. And uh, yeah, I hope this video helped. Hopefully you can make a few adjustments and your base will do better because of it. Thanks for watching once again. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.